Hello, and welcome to Pi, Projects, Ideas, and Experiments. In today's video, unfortunately, while recording uh, this video and a couple of others, my new lavalier mic decided to not work properly. So unfortunately, I do not have the original audio for this video or a few more that I'll be putting out later. So I am trying my hand at voiceover, and uh, so bear with me through this video while I am also learning the editing aspects of that. Uh, the, the joys of getting into YouTube and video editing. Video and audio tracks obviously are not going to mesh up exactly, and the there are points where obviously I'm going to be saying something in the video that isn't going to match up with the audio. So again... Please bear with me on that. So the entire point of this video is in my terrarium, I have various plants. Actually, technically, there's only two types in here. There is fig ivy, and there are the succulents. Um, they're a type of succulent. We call them Mexican hats. I don't really know what they are. Um, tried looking at the name. I'm try trying to find the name is... is difficult. Um, closest we have come to find is they're called a some sort of kalacha plant. Um, they're only supposed to get two to three feet tall. Um, again, they're a succulent, so they're not supposed to use a whole lot of water. We've had these for years, and I uh, used to have them outside, but they quickly like to spread into all sorts of containers anywhere Dirt. I've even had them grow in wet paper towels. Um, they create these nice little seedlings with these little air roots on them that are phenomenal. The second they touch dirt or anything damp, they'll start to grow. Um, the nodes between the leaves are supposed to be really, really tight. I've had them spaced out sometimes over a foot. Again, these are supposed to get two to three feet tall. I've had them grow 10, 12, sometimes 15 feet tall. Granted, they can't support themselves at those sizes, so they just fall over and loop around. These plants are not invasive, but they do like to spread. Um, I was describing these to a couple of co-workers of mine, and they seemed interested, so I'm going to be putting together a couple of little containers for them. I'm going to grab a few of these seed pods from a few different plants and uh, I'm gonna get them potted up and give them as a gift. If uh, you ever have any sort of plants you think someone might like, this is a great way to go. All right, so I'm set up outside my uh, apartment here and have my little project table. Uh, I'm going to be filling these containers up and transferring the seeds over. Uh, obviously, the video angles, <laughs> again, not the best, uh, but I do what I can do. Um, I prefer terracotta over plastic containers, so anytime I can use terracotta, the moisture wicking is, I think, what makes benefit the most there. Um, they're great. These, these small size ones are great, too, because they allow you to be able to give out a few more gifts if you want. These I got from HEB, uh, you know, cheap little terracotta containers. You can get them from pretty much anywhere. Do make sure they have a drainage hole. Um, for the most part, having the drainage hole covered with something would be best. I just, I didn't put a rock or anything in there. I just, it's just dirt. So I'm going to be in the process of filling these up. Uh, they don't take very much dirt. Uh, I have a little an old plastic cup that I keep in my bag of dirt. And uh, these really take about one cup of dirt. It's, it's filling them is 
Very, very simple. And look at that. One cup of dirt. Give it a nice little tap just to make sure everything's in there. And, uh, of course, when you go to fill them up, you're usually going to make a mess and misjudge the amount of dirt. Uh, clean, well, not cleaned it up, but then patted it down, got them there. Now what I'm doing is sorting out as much of the seeds as I can, uh, trying to make them even so you know, each person gets a, a decent amount and a good chance of the plants to succeed. But like I said, these little seeds, they do so well. Uh, all you got to do is put them in dirt. Uh, you can see, hopefully, uh, they are just small little air root seeds. You just toss them on the ground. Uh, when these plants grow, they, they grow fairly tall. Um, they get these really beautiful red trumpet flowers. Uh, unfortunately, once the plant does flower, they die. Uh, but they will grow for a long time. They will spread little baby plants all over the place. Uh, something brushes up against them or the wind blows or you just want more. All you got to do is just kind of rub the leaf and the little seedlings will fall off. Here I'm just tapping them down, making sure the roots get good contact with the dirt. And uh, then the next thing to do is get, give them a, a nice good little drink of, of water. Uh, or as some channels will say, water. So I've just got my little spray bottle here. As you can see, it's uh, labeled, labeled Wooda. Uh, I just thought it was kind of funny. And all we're going to do is give them a nice little drink. Get them damp. Uh, make sure that the plants have an, enough moisture to start with. And that there's enough moisture to get the roots the little air roots in contact with the uh contact with the dirt so here we have our two little plants uh each one of these has you know maybe a dozen or so little little baby plants in them now all we got to do is put them somewhere i i ended up putting them in a windowsill and keeping them nice and watered made sure they get a decent amount of sunlight but honestly these plants don't really care that much too little water too much water too little sun a lot of sun they will grow anywhere they'll grow in cracks crevices like i said damp paper towels uh we've found them growing on the roof of our apartment complex they are excellent little plants, almost impossible to kill. Uh, like I said, giving these away as a little gift. And uh, that's that. Remember, be smart, stay safe, and have fun.